A prominent Democratic donor is accused of running a drug den out of his Southern California home. Ed Buck is behind bars after his arrest overnight. Two men have died in his West Hollywood home from apparent overdoses since 2017. A third man survived an overdose last week. Buck is well known in Democratic Party circles and has donated to Hillary Clinton and other high profile candidates. Ed Buck is famous around the parts where I live for allegedly taking advantage of some of the most marginalized people, specifically homeless gay black men and sex workers who end up mysteriously overdosing on crystal meth in his West Hollywood home, a suspicious recurring theme. And yet, Ed Buck has never faced criminal charges until now. We do know Buck is charged with a felony count of providing methamphetamine to a 37 year old man who then overdosed. Prosecutors call Buck a violent, dangerous sexual predator who mainly preys on men made vulnerable by addiction and homelessness. This has been the pattern among the victims who keep overdosing in Buck's WeHo home. On July 27th, 2017, Gamel Moore, a black 26-year-old sex worker, was found in Buck's bathroom after Buck allegedly injected him with drugs. Moore had voiced his fear of Buck to numerous friends and family members. He even mentioned in his diary that Buck was drugging young black men he invited into his home. The LA County DA's office, however, declined to prosecute Buck, saying the evidence was insufficient to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Buck was responsible. On January 7th, 2019, 55-year-old Timothy Dean, a well-known fashion consultant for Saks Fifth Avenue, died of an overdose at Buck's apartment. Dean's death was ruled accidental. Now, since Moore's death, multiple men, all young, black, and gay, have come forward with evidence that Buck often encourages the men in his company to take drugs, sometimes forcibly. So why did it take two overdose deaths and another victim who barely escaped Buck's apartment and called for help after being injected with men to take down Ed Buck. You decide. The victims were gay black men. Buck is a wealthy and well-connected individual. According to Open Secrets, he's given hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democratic PACs, the DCCC, and even direct campaign contributions to prominent Democrats. This theme dates back to the 80s when Buck was a prominent Republican donor until he realized the Republican Party was too homophobic for him. But I mention the story because it reflects a systemic problem that transcends party politics and represents yet another instance where justice takes a long time to be served, if ever. Ed Buck is a gay liberal who targeted vulnerable gay black men. And because of his connections and the background of his victims, it took too long to finally make him face the consequences of his actions. I'm Asam Piker, and this has been The Breakdown. Never miss another Breakdown video by ringing the bell below. You'll get notified whenever we publish something new. Also, don't forget to join TYT today. Download our TYT Plus app on your phone or head on over to tyt.com join.